Today's repair tutorial will give a step-by-step -step guide to removing and installing a triple coil balance in a tilt window. But please note the cutout method we'll be demonstrating can only be done on the lower inner sash. This exercise requires a Phillips head screwdriver, a slotted screwdriver, a chisel, a file, a utility knife, needle nose pliers, and safety glasses. To begin, mark your cutout just below the top tilt latch on the window frame, with a second mark two inches below it. The first mark should be made about a half inch down the sash to be sure the cutouts don't interfere with the tilt latches. Repeat on the other side of the window frame. Remove the sash by engaging the tilt latches and tilting the window in toward you. Lift the sash up and out. Use a slotted screwdriver to remove the sash stop and balance cover if applicable. Now disengage the pivot shoe and slide the shoe up the channel to meet the coil assembly. With a Phillips head screwdriver, unfasten the coil support letting the assembly fall below the marked area. Extend your markings to the other side of the channel. Then carefully begin to cut out the area with a utility knife. Once the cutout is scored, use needle nose pliers to gradually work the area completely out. Then smooth out any rough edges with a chisel and file. To remove the coils, slide the assembly past the cutout and begin to wedge it out with a slotted screwdriver. Be sure to wear safety glasses and use caution as triple coil springs can have a lot of tension. Assemble the new coil system by linking each coil and attaching the bottom tab to the pivot shoe with the pivot cam facing out. Work the new coil back through the cutout. If you need additional space to work, you can extend the opening of your cutout slightly. Once the coil system is back in place, fasten it back into the jam. Using a slotted screwdriver, slide the pivot shoe down a few inches. Rotate the pivot cam to the closed position to set it in place. Replace any balance covers and sash stop before putting the lower sash back into place. For these parts and more, visit us at Swissco.com.